Well, not all modifications work out, I guess. I decided to replace the crossover fuel line on the tank with one of those quick couple ones, so I ordered one to see how it would work from a Euro dealer. Installed it and thought everything was going to be great. Looking forward to being able to take the tank off without having to completely drain it. And um, unfortunately, I kept noticing a smell of gasoline around the rig. I never found any, you know, puddles of gas or fuel running out of it, but just kept noticing that smell. So I could feel the connector and it, it kind of felt like there may have been gasoline on it, a little bit of residue. So I thought, well, maybe that's just left over from when we put it together. But after a couple of weeks, it was still doing it. So I took this rag and just zip tied it loosely around it to kind of uh, collect fuel, if you will, if it's coming out. And sure enough, we're getting fuel leakage. You can see the yellowing. The rag smells heavily of gasoline. So the seep rate of this is about the same as the evaporation rate of the fuel. And as a result, I'm going to be taking this back off and reinstalling a crossover fuel line. Unfortunately, this is not an upgrade that I can recommend. Um, you know, not sure. I mean, it's really easy to install. You just put it together. And I've checked the clamps. Uh, it's definitely seeping right around where they couple together here. Uh, you can rub your finger on it and come away with the smell of fuel. So this is something we're going to have to be taking off and just going back with a regular hose. So if you if you already have one of these, I hope you're having better luck than I am. I'd recommend you do the same thing. Put a rag around it. Make sure you're not getting fuel out of it. Um, you know, otherwise, uh, it's, yeah, ju just avoid it. Just use your uh, crossover fuel line and you'll have to drain your tank when you remove it. It's not that big of a deal, but really disappointed this isn't working out for us. Okay, pull it out so you can see it. Um, you know. It's just a, a click together when you unclip this, both sides stop up. When you plug it back in together, it opens. And the problem is just right around here, we're just getting that fuel leakage. It, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. You can kind of almost see that it's wet in there, but uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. I was really hoping that that would be a good... A good modification. You can see the rag that we had on it. Um, yeah, this is the part that was around the middle. You can see the fuel stains where it was wrapped up, bunched around it. It's yellowed. Smells heavily of gas. And like I said, I, I think the seepage rate on it is the same as the evaporation rate, roughly. So you're not going to see the fuel puddle, but it is leaking. So that's got to come off. 